hi guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to be doing a whole video for you guys i know it's been a while that i filmed you one so i thought it'd be nice to share one or two things that i picked up with you guys so let's get started so the first product that i'm going to be showing you today is called the smashbox at love eyes and it looks like that it's actually from their christmas gift set so like i said earlier it's an accumulated all videos so it's not as if i picked everything now it's only from their christmas limited edition gift set so you can't find this on their website anymore i might probably swatch it for you guys at the end of this video so stay tuned the next product i'm going to be showing you guys is the l'oreal mercier invisible loose setting powder and it looks like that I've read a lot of good review about this setting powder so I thought it'd be nice to try it really. I use the Benai Banana Powder all the time and you know I just wanted to try something new and see if I'm gonna like it but I'm sure it's gonna be nice because I've heard a lot of good things about it so let's just wait and see really. I'm just gonna open the package for you guys to see it's like that. So the next product that I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm supposed to actually arrange these products according to their brand but I think it's gonna be boring showing you guys one product by a brand all through so I thought it'd be nice to just mix it up for you guys to see so it's not as if I can't rearrange them like for example this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills, this is from MAC, this is from that. No, I think it's gonna be boring so let's just do it as it comes. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Comptor Kit in the shade medium and it looks like that. I'm just going to bring it out for you guys to see. I think I actually prefer this one compared to the MAC one because it's just £4 difference but the content is a lot more than the MAC one because the MAC one is very tiny. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit in the shade medium this is what it looks like in the box and this is the MAC one and this is £39 and this is £35 so I'm going to stick with this one really because there's a lot of products in here compared to this one which is £35 and they actually they actually do the same thing really so there's no point sticking with this one because no no I'm just going to stick with this really so that's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the shade medium. Next product I'm going to be showing you guys is the Lancome Tint or I Do Ultra Foundation. It looks like that. I've tried this foundation before but because I purchased it online, I actually picked up the wrong shade. And this time around, I did the same thing. I find it very hard to return products because I just prefer buying online because there's a lot of offers online compared to buying in store really so I picked up the shade 55 I'm just gonna bring it out for you guys to see and it looks like that this foundation is very very good I tried the shade 10 I mix it with another foundation to get my perfect match but I like the covering. They didn't consider people like us that have a yellow undertone or warm undertone really. So I also pick up the MAC look in the box face kit in the shade red rock and it looks like that. So I'm gonna open it for you guys to see. I believe this is actually a bargain compared to buying them individually. So I'm just gonna open it for you guys to see what's in the box. So the products in the box includes so the MAC lip liner in the shade cherry. Matte lipstick in the shade Russian red, matte lip gas in the shade Russian red, and Mac blush in the shade apple red, Mac brush in number one one six eyeshadows. I can't remember the name, but I'll put the name in the information box down below. So a lot of you guys know the Mac Russian red lipstick. So lipstick is a matte red lipstick. I'm just gonna swatch the eyeshadow for you guys to see what they look like i'm not quite sure if these eyeshadows are limited edition very very beautiful and very pigmented i love them i'm glad that i picked the red one it has the mac 116 on it 
showing you guys it's actually from Exteluda and it's the Exteluda Double Wear Foundation. You guys know I use Exteluda Double Wear Foundation in all my videos unless I'm doing a drugstore foundation routine. So this is what it looks like. This is the bottle one, the Exteluda Double Wear Foundation in the shade Toasty Toffee. No, in the shade Honey Bronze. It looks like that. So the next product that I'm going to be showing you guys is from is by Lancome and it's the Lancome Juicy Shaker. I'm sure you guys might have seen my tutorial of this product. It's the Lancome Juicy Shaker in the shade Berry in Love. It looks like that in the box. The nice lip gloss and the color is very nice and unique. And I like the fact that I have to shake it. I enjoy when I enjoy shaking it before using it so those are the things i like about it but apart from that it's just like every other normal lip gloss and it's amazing it's nice it has a very beautiful lovely smell so why not so the next product i'm going to be showing you guys is actually from anastasia beverly hills it's called the anastasia beverly hills glow kits that glow oh my days where have you been this is what the packaging looks like this is what it looks like I don't know if you guys can see it but really 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 like it and compared to the uh, Hollywood one I don't know I can't remember the name of that one really but I know it has a shade called Hollywood this is a no-brainer I mean for the price it's amazing it has four highlighters in it and you can actually bring them out so I think they're gonna have a replacement for them so just in case you run out of one that you really like my favorite one is the golden bronze I use it almost every day so I hope they have a replacement for that one really moving on I'm gonna be showing you guys is by Lancome it's called the Lancome Vanis in Love Polish and it's in the shade Miss Concoli Cot Oof. we're not in France we're in UK, London, so I can't pronounce that. It's called Concoli Court something. It's a French name, so we're in London, sorry. It looks like that. And this is what the colour looks like. It's a beautiful red nail polish. And so apart from Estee Lauder, Estee Lauder Nail Card, the nail brand I like is the Lancome one, so and I like the fact that the color is beautiful. So the next one that I'm going to be showing you guys is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Other Headley. And it looks like that. It's a limited edition highlighter. So I'm going to bring it out for you guys to see. It's a limited edition one. So I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a very nice highlighter. It has... A dual tone to it which I really like about it I'm not sure if you guys can see but I'm gonna use it in my upcoming video so keep an eye on my channel for an update on this one so it's a very popular product and I'm sure every youtuber on this product apart from me really so I think it'd be nice to try it as well it's called the original beauty blender in the black looks like that I pick up the black one so I'm gonna give it a go and see if I would like it like I liked my Real Technique sponge because my Real Technique sponge is amazing. It's amazing. So I just thought I should give this a try and see if it's really what the hype really. Otherwise, I'm gonna stick with the Real Technique beauty sponge. So that's the beauty blender. It looks like that. Moving on. Is by MAC. It's called the MAC Strobe Cream and it looks like that. So I picked up the mini version of this one because I've heard a lot of good reviews about this product, the Strobe Cream. So I thought it'd be nice to just try the mini version because it's just £10 really. And I think it's quite wise to buy this mini version, two of it, compared to buying the original one is £23 and this one is just £10. But if you had it up, you get 60 mil for 20 pounds compared to 50 mil for 23 pounds. So I thought it'd be nice to pick up 
this smaller version so give it a try and see if i'm gonna like it so it's the max trop cream so if you've used it and if you like it please comment down below and let me know what you think about it so the next product that i'm going to be showing you guys is by morphe brushes it's called the morphe brushes cream eyeshadow in the shade blue i really like this eyeshadow color particularly because it has a very beautiful beautiful tint to it look at that uh, I don't think the camera is doing the justice to this. This is very beautiful. This is a very beautiful color in real life. But I think the song is not helping me today. But never mind. It's in the shade blue. So, so the next product I'm going to be showing you guys is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Brew Permit. In the shade dark brown. It looks like that. I've heard a lot of good reviews about the Anastasia Beverly Hill Deep Brew Permit and I thought it'd be nice to give it a try really. I've tried the slick one but I'm, I'm not sure if I really like that one so it's the Anastasia Beverly Hill Deep Brew Permit in the shade dark brown and I'm not sure if I actually picked the right colour as well but let's have a look at what is inside really. Let me just open it for you guys to see. This is what the packaging looks like. and. Oops, that's it. This is what the dark brown looks like. I think it's my shade, I believe. Because it looks exactly like the slick one that I tried before. So, let's just hope this work out for me. And I'll keep you guys posted. So, the next product I'm going to be showing you guys is by Makeup Geek. It's called the Makeup Geek Dual Chrome Eyeshadow Pan in the shade Old Magic Hats and in the Spotlight. But the Dual Chrome one is called voltage which looks like that so i'm just gonna quickly swatch the three of them for you guys to see and i hope the sun will help me do that otherwise just keep an eye on my channel for the makeup tutorial it's called the mac charlotte olympia lipstick in the shade talent scarlet Packaging is beautiful. I finish using this one, I'll still keep the packaging really because I dig the pack. You guys can see this, but so the next product I'm gonna be showing you guys is by Ellie Splash and it's called the Ellie Splash Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rose Garden. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. This is what it looks like. why I like filming my video really quick because when the sun is hot I can't do a lot I can't so that's why in most of my video I tend not to talk because I just want to do it like really quick before the sun is hot so bear with me if I don't talk in most of my video I'm gonna start using the studio light and I'd have more time to talk to you guys I'm doing my makeup so just bear with me for now guys please so the next product I'm going to be showing you guys is by Gwen Stefani. It's the Gwen Stefani lipstick in the shade Wonderland. It looks like that. I'm sure a lot of you guys know what they look like. You, they are everywhere. <laughs> Gwen Stefani lipstick is everywhere. So there's no point swatching this one for you. So it's the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani. It's the Smashbox Double Exposure Eyeshadow Palette. It's like It looks like that. I actually have a tutorial of this eyeshadow in my previous video but the eyeshadow got broken and this was actually an offer so i thought it'd be nice to pick mm -hmm. it up so the next product i'm going to be showing you guys is by makeup geek and it's called the makeup geek loose pigment in the shade vegas night and it looks like that in the packaging very very beautiful unique loose pigments that i have nothing i have nothing like it but the problem with this is when you open it, it's all over the place. I'll just watch it right here. I don't talk in most of my videos is because well in most cases I always want to rush my <laughs> I won't say rush per se really. I always wanna you know like quickly film my video before the sun is out. And secondly I live in London and 